Lindsay Hunter, Urban Homeworks HR Director. What a wild time we are in right now. And I just wanted to come on and share some of the things I've been thinking about as the HR Director at Urban Homeworks and um, what are some things on my mind. So I'm going to read some quotes and chat pretty easily and informally, um, especially as we're all remote during this time anyway, right? <laughs> I want to start off with a quote from Brene Brown. Um, she's been sending some interesting food for thought during this time. She says, this pandemic experience is a massive experiment in collective vulnerability. We can be our worst selves when we're afraid or our very best, bravest selves. It's pretty profound. It's been resonating with me. Um, and what I've seen, especially the second it all hit, is the way our staff stepped up. Of course, Urban Homeworks cares deeply about our communities, about our residents, um, about those around us. But we also care very deeply about our staff. It's with the health of our staff that we sustain this organization. Um, so they're pretty important to me. One of the things that's been going on, I'd say, is 13% of the jobs are nonprofit. So we're talking about a workforce that is on the front lines, out there, critically um, there for communities that are often neglected. It's imperative that our staff kicks butt, <laughs> which means they got to take breaks. They got to spend time with their families, too. They got to rest. Um, so I'm, I'm a big, big cheerleader for, you've heard the phrase, put your mask on first or else you can't do much for anybody else. Um, I will say also one of our great partners, the YWCA, have been another great leader in this time. Um, for instance, what's really going to be important is for folks to talk and reach out to their Minnesota legislature and sign petitions in regards to nonprofits. Um, we're going to continue to serve as an information connector. We're going to share articles, community resources to help keep you and your family excuse me, as formed as we navigate through this pandemic together. But I just ask that you remember the folks pivoting constantly every day, quickly moving on their feet to figure out how to best get this information out, how to be the ones on the ground and still protect themselves. Um, let's see. I did share a really great article, I think it's great, <laughs> with our staff about, I'm just going to pull it up here, um, about, and it's called, it's on the Huffington Post, so please don't be guilted into being more productive during the coronavirus. It's a falsity. It's a. It's not, it's actually not productive to be constantly worried about production. One of the great quotes, great quotes, a great quote I have found on my friend Instagram. It talks about if you haven't followed the Nat Ministry, they're a really great resource that has helped me balance the um, go, 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 get, 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 get mentality with the and rest. Your, it says your, but I wasn't going to change it to our. So, because it does seem to be a societal issue. So, our obsession with productivity as a function of our worth is preventing us from tending to our souls. And I think amidst everything, amidst all the work, amidst the tragedy, people are losing their lives. This is not for the faint of heart, but amidst all of that as well is an opportunity to take care of yourself, to go deeper, to go within, Please check out some of the articles and quotes I'm going to have Callie attached below. And of course, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, Lindsay.hunter at urbanhomeworks.org.
Stay safe out there. Peace.